It's becoming more commonplace, and I think as the skill shortage continues, even the organisations that perhaps aren't willing to consider 100% remote may need to rethink that um, if they've got no other alternative. I would say by far the most common we're seeing is the hybrid model, yeah. um, so which does still require someone to be either in the city or close enough that coming in one or two days a week is, isn't um, too onerous. Um, it's... What I wouldn't say we're really experiencing very much of is hiring organisations being prepared to consider fully global yeah. remote yet. working as yet. Yes. They're, they're looking for the same general working days, timelines, so that that overlap is there. So, you know, perhaps looking at New Zealand or Singapore, something on you know, in the same time zone yeah. uh, or a very similar time zone, but not really much willingness to look at somebody from the UK for a role in Australia. Which will be really interesting to follow, Aaron, because um, as Adele said, Australia lags a little bit with what's happening in the rest of the world. And we're hearing different things from the guys that we're speaking with in the US or I think yeah. in Europe as well, that I think I think it will be happening that you will actually be able to work for a US-based company while you're in Australia. Um, we're not there yet, and it does mean a whole bunch of different things to look at, but I don't think that that will not happen because if you're working remotely, why can't you work remotely from anywhere in the world? And if you think it, sorry about mm -hmm. If you think about it from an employer's perspective, for them to replace you, Aaron, what would that mean for an organization? So to enable you to work remotely is far less pain than actually replacing you as an employee. So, so I was just thinking when you were talking that some organizations maybe haven't thought about that or it is in progress. Ask the question. Ask them hiring manager, what does this look like? Are you having conversations? Um, because you're 100% right, that's exactly where the market's going. If you look at us, I live in the Sunshine Coast, Adele lives in Brisbane, we've just employed somebody that lives in Canberra and another person that lives on the Gold Coast. That's our team, our team is across Australia. What I think remote working does require that is still getting fleshed out for a lot of organizations is a very different approach to ensuring that company culture, company yeah. values, um, training, development, career progression. Uh, you know, you, I think traditionally so much of um, the, the networking and the growth potential comes from you know, the conversation for the five minutes before a meeting starts and the five minutes after when you were you know the first or last person in, in the boardroom with, with someone who you know, could potentially have influence on on how your your career develops that isn't necessarily there anymore so organizations are having to think differently about how how they manage that and and how they compensate for that um, by putting different approaches in place. And I think that's the piece that's still developing. What I think is also worth bearing in mind as a candidate, if you are, when you're looking at, you know, will I only consider 100% remote roles or will I look at 50-50 hybrid, is if you are in one of those transition phases of your career. If you're making that jump into project management from something else, or you're wanting to take a slight more change management angle. If you're trying to get experience or trying to network, as we were suggesting, then having perhaps that hybrid role that is 50 50 or, or one, you know, whatever balance 60 40 that gives you more exposure to people who can help you make that yeah. jump may mean that for a while stick with the big city, get that experience. And then when, when you've got yourself established in the career framework that you want, then mm -hmm. start looking at the 100% remote. Again, it's the motivator 